Hey, what's up guys? David Nussbaum at Wheels Boutique here. We've got another episode here with a very, very cool car. It is of course the Mercedes G63 AMG, but it's a little bit different from what we usually do with the G63s on this channel. If you're a subscriber of the channel, you know that we've done a ton of Brabus G, G wagons. Uh, there should be two in the building right now, or actually one in the building in a very cool green color, which I hope to get a video on as well. But this one doesn't have the Brabus Wide Star uh, wide body kit. It's a slightly different kit called the Urban Automotive Wide Body Kit. Now, Urban Automotive is a tuning house in the UK in Milton Keys. They've been around since 2013 and they specialize at first in British cars like uh, Bentleys and Land Rovers, but they've since evolved into doing other things like Mercedes, as you see here. And they're doing a pretty, pretty good job at it because this kit looks phenomenal. So, when my techs were doing the installation of this, um, they noticed that number one, it's gonna be different from the Brabus and all of the looks and all of the fitment, everything was a plug and play fitment. So just like the Brabus, but they actually liked the look a little bit better. Now, is that because this is brand new and the first one that we've done locally? and we're just tired of seeing the Brabus version or is it because they really like the way that this looks better? So that's gonna be an interesting to see the comments when you guys uh, leave your opinion on there that if you like this one or the Brabus a little bit better. So going back to this kit, uh, there's very similar to the Brabus in a sense of it's a brand new front bumper, brand new rear bumper, uh, side panels for the widened arches and then various different pieces that you can add or subtract from the kit if you want. Since we're in the front here, let's start right off the bat with the hood, which I believe is the biggest uh, change between that and the Brabus. So the, the hood is fully carbon fiber. It's got these two little nostrils here and you've got the carbon fiber ventilation here as well. Now again, from this line up, it is completely carbon fiber and so that allows the customer to do different paint schemes. This customer of course wanted to do the little nostrils in exposed carbon fiber and the vents in carbon fiber and everything else paint matched to the white. So I actually like the way that this looks a lot. Uh, some people will do it fully in carbon fiber but then at that point I think it might be a little bit too much carbon fiber. So then moving our way down to the bottom portion, this brand new front bumper from Urban Automotive is gonna have a lot of carbon fiber pieces as well. So this used to have the brush guard that the cars come with a lot. When you remove that brush guard, there's a hole um, on the mounting point on the bumper. And so Urban thought about this and they did, you know what, let's do a little carbon cover for that. So then you have carbon, of course, on the slats going from one end to the other and the lip on the bottom as well. And then you have a little bit of a vent here also, which let's see, is it gonna be a working vent? No, it's just a design element, but it's still in carbon fiber, which looks really, really cool. So moving our way to the side of the car, you're gonna notice some more carbon fiber. And if you're playing the, the game where you take a shot for every time somebody says a specific word like carbon fiber, then good luck to you on this one because this car is filled with it. Right off the bat, you see the widened fenders, which will allow us to get wider wheels. And I'll get into that in just a little bit. And at the end of the widened fenders, you do have another carbon fiber trim piece here, which is pretty cool. And then another cool part, which I don't believe other body kits have is that the side step has carbon fiber incorporated into it as well, which goes all the way down to the side. And then you've got the Miltec exhaust, which sounds really good. And I'll try and get some flybys for you so you guys can hear that. So Miltec exhaust and the Urban Automotive body kit. The interior is also pretty cool and I just noticed it. It's like an off-white on the inside. It's got some carbon fiber trim. So hopefully Marvin will get some B-roll of that. But that kind of ties in together the interior with the exterior and all the carbon fiber that it has. Of course, moving our way to the back of the car, you have the rear arches that are wider as well. And then you've got that brand new rear bumper, which again, incorporates so much of that carbon fiber. You've got the little vents here and you've got carbon fiber diffuser all the way from one side to the other. And this is a pretty cool piece. I think it's very, very unique. It is the fifth wheel or the spare tire uh, cover in carbon fiber. And we had it painted to match the car urban in white. And then of course you have the rear spoiler and in the front, which I did not mention at the beginning, was that it's got the LED light bar and carbon fiber as well. So such a cool kit. Um, I'm very, very happy to see this car here because this car is from Texas. So one of my clients, um, 
I know he's watching JF. I appreciate you for sending all your cars. We've done about three or four cars from his by now. I think the last time we had one of his cars on the channel was a black A12 super fast that we did with full Novatech carbon fiber. <laughs> Novatech does not make carbon fiber for the G-Wagon, but again, that's where companies like Brabus and now Urban Automotive have come in and done a really good job of it. Um, from the wheel perspective, since we're widening the car a substantial amount, it allows us to use a much wider rear tire. So I don't know if you can see from the back here, but that tire is actually a 355 wide. So 355 millimeters wide. Of course, not every SUV can use that. Uh, the only ones that I can think of off the top of my head that can use that are wide body G-Wagons, Lamborghini Urus, uh, some other bigger cars like the Audi RS Q8. So it's got to be a full body size SUV and in some cases it has to have a wide body kit in order to fit these 355 tires. So it's a 355 wide, 25 profile and 24 inch di in diameter, which leads me to the Anarchy wheels. The Anarchy wheels are going to be 24 by 12 and a half in the rears and 24 by 10 and a half in the front. Now this is gonna be the first time that it's on our channel and the first time that this wheel has been on YouTube in general. And I can say that with 100% confidence because this is a brand new wheel model from Anarchy Performance Wheels. It is called the S3X6. So it is the very first car that I'm aware of in the world with the S3X6 and it's a beautiful design. So JF, when he called me, he said, hey, I've got a white G-Wagon coming. I wanna do something a little bit different. So the Brabus kit is out of the question. Let's do this Urban Automotive kit you guys haven't done it for your channel before so that would be really cool to have and then from the wheels front again let's do something new that nobody has ever done before so I guess if you see another car like this with the same kit and the same wheels you know who it was copied from so again this is the s3x6 it is a custom built three-piece forge wheel this wheel is also offered in two piece and also offered in one piece and in smaller sizes too. So if you have a performance car and you really like this design, so you want it in a smaller diameter and you want it to be lightweight, then you would choose this version of the wheel, same face design, but in a one piece uh, monoblock version. Going back to this one, since it is the three piece, you can mix or match the finishes for the multiple pieces of the wheel. So piece number one is gonna be the center face. Piece number two is going to be the outer lip and piece number three is going to be the inner barrel. This has the assembly bolts that hold the center face into the barrel completely hidden by this flange here, which actually has the anarchy engraving. So it's pretty cool. You can also have that exposed if you prefer to have the assembly bolts hidden, which kind of adds another design element to the wheel. Satin black for the finish. And then for the barrel, you have gloss black as well for the inner barrel in gloss black, which is very common whenever you want a multi-piece wheel to be all the same color you'll do the same color but you'll have a different version of that color so satin black for example with gloss black as opposed to having the entire wheel satin black which kind of defeats the purpose of having a multi-piece wheel you want to be able to have some contrast within it this is also anarchy's brand new center cap so it's a brand new logo so the center part is brand new and also the way that the bezel is designed carbon fiber and it has the ring in a anodized red so that ring can be ordered in any color that you want uh, jf and i felt that it needed some sort of pops especially since the brake calipers were gray and everything else on the car was either white or carbon fiber or black so we just added that little touch of pop with the anodized red ring again it can be done in any color and then the carbon fiber the other standard cap that anarchy offers is a billet aluminum cap so it's the anarchy logo it's a metal cap but it's typically finished in the color of the rest of the wheel so in this case it would be satin black but again we wanted to have the carbon fiber because it would match the entire urban automotive wide body kit so it's pretty cool let me open up the door here so you guys can see kind of the off-white interior and some of the carbon fiber trim uh, i do apologize for some of the plastic on the floor but that's there so that we do not dirty the customer's car at all so marvin will get on the front side here as well and you'll see carbon fiber on the steering wheel carbon fiber on the center console area so this car is definitely highly specced. I know that he waited a while for it. And we built this in about 
uh, one week time. So that's pretty cool to do as well, to be able to achieve such a, such a unique build and do something that nobody has done before and do it in a, in a timely fashion. So this is a way to separate your car from the rest. Obviously a G-Wagon is a very special vehicle, but it is mass produced. And so the, the way that you can make it cha make, change it up a little bit is of course by the wheels, but then you take that to the extra level and you do a wide body kit. Um, when I see a G-Wagon on the streets now that does not have a wide body kit, I kid you not this is not me uh overstating anything it looks anorexic it looks really skinny especially when i'm behind it it looks taller than it's supposed to be and it looks thinner and that's just an illusion um that 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 uh your brain has after you've seen so many with a wide body kit uh same concept with the rolls royce cullen and that one even more so you know we do so many wide bodies for that whether through Novatec or a new kit coming out from 1016 and the and when i see a cullen in without one it looks very narrow it almost looks um uh, doesn't have the right proportions to it and so that's why I love these G-Wagons. There's so much you can do with it. We can do a tune as well. Uh, of course, we have the exhaust. So I'll jump in there right now and do some of that. And of course, all of the exterior carbon fiber. And even if you love the Urban Automotive wide body kit and you want to send us your car so we can do the installation, there are ways to make it different. So Urban Automotive, you see this traditional carbon fiber weave. We could actually do that in a, in a crazier crushed carbon or what people know as forged carbon. Uh, you can remove the carbon fiber spoiler if you want or add specific other pieces that are not on this one so definitely give us a call we would love to chat with you and go over all of the options list because it is extensive and of course the wheels is another way that you can differentiate your g-wagon from the next g-wagon so let us know what you think about this urban automotive kit i definitely 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 want you to leave a comment watch our other videos with the brabus and see which body kit you like better and then also like the video that helps us out a lot and it's very very simple to do very free it takes about a split second that'll help us get to other um, automotive uh, channels and and things like that and to users that are going to enjoy these builds so without further ado i'll jump in here maybe marvin will close out the video with some of the flybys but as i mentioned subscribe like share our channel and i'll see you guys in the next one